What's a biological sample? A biological sample is usually blood, urine, skin, or other tissues that may be collected for routine clinical testing during your visit to a lab or the doctor's office. After your tests, the leftover samples are typically thrown away. What's the purpose of the consent? We are asking for your permission and consent for two things. One, to use your leftover biological samples and clinical data from your medical records. And two, the next time you happen to have a lab draw or get an IV placed, we'd like to collect an additional blood tube of up to two teaspoons. If you are at a clinic that collects saliva samples for precision medicine, you may be asked during your visit there to give a small saliva sample. The samples could be used for a variety of research purposes and product development by UCLA and collaborators. No additional tests or procedures are needed, and any use of the samples for research would need to adhere to UCLA's policies, state and federal laws and regulations. This is really important because The future of medicine is to use genetic and other kinds of information to match the right treatments with the right patients. This will require collecting and studying biological samples and clinical information from a large number of people, like you. Who benefits from this? Your samples will be used to advance science and better understand specific diseases. In the past, some UCLA samples have helped develop new treatments for serious disease. Will we be collecting all your samples? Based on current UCLA research needs, we expect to use leftover clinical samples from only some of your visits for research. Why do we want an extra tube of blood? Having an extra tube of blood, or in some cases saliva, provides us with enough volume for multiple research purposes and permits certain research not possible on leftover samples. How long will the samples be kept? Samples may be kept indefinitely. Who will use the samples? Only researchers and research projects that meet UCLA approval may receive your sample. Most samples will go to UCLA researchers, but we may also choose to share samples with researchers from other universities, government researchers, and researchers from private companies that work on developing new tests or treatments. How will samples be used? The biological samples might be used for various research purposes which will help us better understand disease and develop new treatments. Will we share any results with you? You will not get any results back. UCLA will publish a newsletter that provides overall information about new discoveries made from the samples. How will your privacy be protected? Your biological samples and clinical data will be linked and then provided to researchers in a way that protects your confidentiality. Researchers will not have access to your identity. Are there any risks? There is no physical risk. Your genetic information may identify you as a member of a certain ethnic group. There is a small possibility that someone who tries really hard might identify you from your DNA. Federal and California laws provide certain protections against discrimination based on genetic information. Some people may have moral, religious, or cultural concerns about some kinds of research. Are there financial considerations? There is no charge or payment to you, and you will not have any ownership. If there is commercial value, it will belong to UCLA and its collaborators. Can you change your mind about your specimens? Your participation is voluntary. To ensure you have the time to think over the decision carefully, there will be a 10-day window from the time you sign the consent today before your sample could be available for researchers. Even after the 10-day window, you can change your mind at any time and samples will not be made available to researchers. Just contact the UCLA Biobank. If you do change your mind, any researcher who received your sample will be asked to destroy it. For more information or to see other frequently asked questions, please pick up the detailed information sheet by the kiosk or the registration desk.